Ladies and gentlemen, let's get ready to tune a jam. What do you reckon? Nah. To jam. To jam. Hello and welcome to Toon Jam. Once again, I am Matt. And I'm J-Man. And today we are talking about biker mice from Mars. No, not from Venus. You asked for it. We supplied it. Biker mice from boom, Mars. Boom, boom, boom. So, biker mice from Mars. A 1993 series about alien mice mm -hmm. on motorbikes. Mm -hmm. Makes sense. Um... The villain is also an alien. Mm -hmm. He is a fish. Yep. In the form of a man. I mean, I mean what they've right, so three there's three main characters. Yep. Throttle. Yeah. He's the guy he's the one with the specs. The glasses, yeah. Yep. The, the Modo, yep. robot arm. Yep. And Vinny. Robot face. Robot face. Yeah. Um he's sort of the comic relief, isn't he, of the mm -hmm. team. They escape a war on their home, the planet Mars. Uh, and then they decide to defend Earth from the evil that destroyed their homeland. Mm -hmm. uh, I've got a name for the evil here: the Plutarchians. Plutarchians, oh. which I'm guessing Pluto. Yeah. Um, and then one day they hope to return to Mars. That's what it says here. Mm. Um, loving their motorbikes. Yeah. They've got all sorts of attachments that could fit on any toy. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> And they, they are attachments as well, so you can take them off and put them on mm. like any toy. Um, yeah, 93, it, it aired and ended in 96. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. There was um, a comic series that went alongside it. Yeah. I think just to like a non, not a very good one or anything, yeah. just one they made just to capitalise. Yeah. As well as a video game for the Super Nintendo, ah, SNES game. Um, which apparently had extensive advertisements for Snickers candy bars. <laughs> ah, the mice love Snickers. Apparently. So I, I never played it. No, neither did I. I've never even seen it. No, I don't know. Oh, but I do love Snickers. So maybe <laughs> you never needed to play it anyway. That's so weird. Um, like Snickers they also bag. released another video game in two thousand and six. Yeah for the Nintendo DS and PlayStation 2 platforms mm. but it did not receive any major positive ratings oh. although it was a major sales success throughout Scandinavia oh man I didn't know they were big on the biker mice big on the biker mice that's weird because I thought they were more you know eco-friendly types over there Do you know maybe I mean? that's why they're just like rebelling yeah yeah just like they're just like oh, yeah. I want some diesel in my air or just like oh this is such a fictional world yeah. where bikes chug out you know chug fossil out, yeah. fuels into it's the just air. so like, alien yeah to them. it's like what is this it's so <laughs> fantasy <laughs> so that's your basic coverage so let's go to our first segment memories ah. that's very nice so mm. what are your memories well of biker mice from mars do you um, remember it well i do i do i had um speaking of biker mice from uh, Mars. Ha, there's throttle out there. <laughs> just <laughs> keeping it real. Apologies for that. <laughs> <laughs> just try to just try do just try relevant to. sound effects for the, for the <laughs> episodes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, I did have um, I did have some figures. Yeah. Yeah, I had a throttle. Same. Um, and um, a, a Modo. Who's well. favourite? Throttle. Throttle. Yeah. Mine was Modo. Really? A robot arm. Yeah. Yeah. To be fair. And he was like. I don't know, he just sounded odd. Yeah, he He's does. got a deeper voice, hasn't he? Yeah, I think just because Throttle was kind of the leader. so And he also had sunglasses. Oh, yeah, that's true. So he was definitely cool. Because that was, yeah. when the night is, that was the indicator of cool. Was I didn't really, I, didn't, I wasn't a big fan of him. Really? Yeah. Couldn't relate to him in any way. Uh -huh. Really? Whereas the others felt like relatable. Yeah, you were like, robot like, arm, robot arm robot mouse space. from space, this guy. Yeah. He's just me. Yeah. Yeah. No. I just thought this guy, if I was any, mm. he's got an eye patch. Yeah. It's likely one day mm -hmm. I could get one. Yeah. You know, remember when K 
kids always used to have eye patches at school. No, that's true. Yeah. That, that Did you have a lot of like eye injuries school, when you grew up? I never, I never got to have one. Ah. But I just remember there was always a kid with an eye patch at school. Mm. Not the same kid. It was just loads yeah. of people had. And you wanted to be that kid. And it was just like when wh- I just thought everyone went through it at some point. You're like, when's my time? Yeah. Well, I just assumed it would come. It wasn't even when. It was just like. Oh, it's just done. It's just going to happen. It's like adolescence. Yeah, you don't. You, it's going to happen. Just happen. It's like having a broken arm. Yeah. You were just like guaranteed one day I'm going to get a broken arm. I know. I never got a broken. Never arm. broke a bone. No. I bruised one once. Oh. I didn't even think that was possible. No. I don't think bones bruised, but. Yeah. Apparently so. Bone. Yeah, that was a close. So. Throttle. Throttle. Interesting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I, I enjoyed the show because it was very, it's quite actiony, quite yeah. vi- visceral. Yeah, and yeah. the toys. Yeah, and the toys, yeah. Uh, and it was weird. We've covered it a lot, mm. but we've never really discussed, do the toys make the show better? I'd say... When you're a kid? Yes. I'm 100% yes. Yeah. So, when we watch some of these shows, and it's like, not very really good, mm. maybe if you have all the toys, mm. it makes it better. Because then like, you I make the get, show. Yeah, I know I can get a toy of it. Mm. Because all you do, it becomes an advert. That's it. And as much as it's annoying that that's what they were, because it ruins the story and stuff. Mm. When your kids don't care, you're just like, no. they've got a drill bike. Yeah. I'm I hope I can get that for now. my bike. That's it. Yeah. So, as as horrifying as, as it may seem mm. now, looking back, but did actually bring something to the show, yeah. having the toys. Because that's what I had. I had the toys did as you? well. Yeah. Your memories. My memories. Uh I like I said, uh, M- Modo is mm-hmm. my favourite. But I also had, I think my brother liked Vinny, mm. and he had one of him. And then when my brother sort of got fed up with it, I just used to play with him. Oh, nice. So I think I just liked Vinny more because I also played with the toy of him. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> right, so yeah. Just having the toys because I never had throttle. Yeah. yeah. Maybe that's why I couldn't relate that's to him. That's it. He maybe was never in right. my stories. Yeah. There you go. He was just so maybe that's the difference Does and I think as well I liked I like Modo because of the colours mm. yeah, blue cool was my favourite colour at there the time so yeah. it was just like he's got this blue yeah. suit robot arm was Leonardo your favourite turtle yep yeah. was he yep yeah. nice nice nice. he's a serious one as well wasn't he yeah like yeah, in both Modo was also a serious yeah. one yeah that's nice no, no wise quips from him <laughs> whereas Throt was more of a Raphael type character isn't he yeah and I was never really a big mm. fan of Raph. I quite liked Raph. Yeah. I should have liked him because he was red. But, but I always preferred swords out of all the other... That's the trouble as well, isn't it? Yeah. I always liked staffs. There you go. Because, of all of them, mm. they're the most accessible. Mm. You can go and pick up, you know, your mum's brush. Yeah. Take take the end off. All Staff. of a sudden, you're Donatello. Yeah. But that's a different, but that's, that's a different thing. But, you know coming back to it you know you can always just shoot your own eye out but yeah. I knew a guy that, that, that shot his eye out with an air rifle not just on purpose just but, shot an eye patch yeah but he capitalised on it hard did yeah. he yeah did, is that the guy that like dresses up as a pirate yeah I've seen him yeah yep see so it does happen so it does happen he's a real life modo mate. He he's living <laughs> your dream well it wasn't a dream it was just a reality yeah, yeah. it was just a truth to me That's at the it. time so there you go memories memories mm. Both enjoyed it though. I did like Bike Master when I was a yeah. kid. I loved it. Uh, but because of the toys, I think. Hmm. So, going to the episode, we watched season two, episode 13. This is the last episode. The final episode <laughs> of Bike Master from Mars. Bleh. <laughs> Bleh cheese bros. <laughs> Bleh. Bleh now, cheese bros. before we get into what the episode's about, I want you to tell me this is my my question why is the episode called or why do you think it's called Blur Cheese Bros <laughs> well um, I think because the mice they're mice so they love cheese because that's apparently I mean that makes you know, sense do you know that's um, they are bros in a way yeah you know in the cool way yeah yeah um, and maybe Can I tell you my thoughts they're sad because it's the last episode. Can I so tell you my thoughts on blue. it? They're blue. The name mm-hmm. doesn't fit the show at all. Could not figure out for the life of me why this episode is called, even if it was spelt normally, yeah. Blue Cheese Bros. 
Like, mm. why is it spoken French? Yeah, There's that, no French in the episode. No, no. There's not a single moment of Frenchness no. in the entire episode. And um, why is it called Blue Cheese Bros? They, they never... There's not even anything... Unless... They're not particularly overly united in this episode to the point where they're like, we're brothers, man. Unless, you know how Disney do, like, hidden Mickeys? Yeah. Maybe there's hidden cheeses in the show and there's like a blue loads cheese loads somewhere of blue cheese. they did that in um, you know like the perfect dark games yeah. there was just a slab of cheese occasionally on certain levels blue cheese bros so maybe there's a bl- maybe we missed the blue cheese I, my point being is I cannot fathom as to why it's called that <laughs> no but it that's has it no to, relation to the to point where I, wonder, I was like watching it like have, is this the right episode have I, am I watching the wrong episode <laughs> have, have they got the the name wrong on this mm. listing of it because it was it was about prison yeah unless that's like a prison term that we just don't know anymore blue collar prison blue, blue cheese blue just cheese. like oh, he's, the blue he's cheese he's a blue cheese yeah it's a blue the cheese, blue cheese. <laughs> yeah it's like a french prison thing i don't know so so no let's sense. get into it let's get into it anyway mm-hmm. so biker mice from mars season two episode 13. um straight away we're drilling Drilling underground, mm-hmm. drill bikes. Yeah. Why the underground? Because this greasy guy, <laughs> what's his name? Grease Pit. Grease Pit. Yeah. Who is? Thingy is henchman. What's yeah. his name? Limburger. He is Limburger's henchman, and he's got a gang of people mm. doing some underground. What are they doing? They're robbing a bank. Robbing a bank from underneath. Yeah. yeah. So the biker mice naturally go down there to stop him. That's it. And they, they action use... from the get go in it really. Yeah, it is. And I noticed that like their their sort of device of choice was one of those big suction tubes that sucks the money away. Yeah. You know? And like, do those actually exist? Because that seems to be a part of well, so many heist I suppose films. Very stuff. weirdly, the day before we watched these, mm. we watched. The Incredibles. Yeah. And <laughs> the start of that film, you've got the Underminer. Yeah. And he is drilling under a bank. Yeah. And sucking the money out of your tube. Exactly. That is what happens That's in this it. episode. No biker mice from Mars, no Incredibles 2. So, that you've been listening <laughs> to Steve Jam. <Jambon. laughs> that's, that's us doing. Thank you. Well, yeah. That's... Uh, so, they're... they're go back to it right so they're robbing it there's a lot of um heavy metal music yeah um i say heavy metal but you know it's just one guitar solo yeah but for the time that was like (laughs) 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 it really is like just non-stop some guy absolutely like burning his fingers away one guy in for the and just Mm. said play it for the entire episode because he's non-stop on that thing (laughs) <laughs> sick of whammy bargain. and then you've got like and left right and centre mm. what's his name Specky Four Eyes is like <laughs> throwing out quips <laughs> non-stop yeah while and loads of money Vinny puns. is what 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 accent has Vinny got don't know that's why it changes yeah At one point he's like a cowboy or something mm. he's like oh they don't hear but now on the prairie <laughs> <laughs> and as well uh, Modo yeah everything he says he's talking about his mum yeah what is that about every every five seconds he's like mama mama told me I ought to fight you and one of them's really questionable as well he's like, one of them is as my mum always said it's time to assume the position <laughs> he's like why did yeah, your mum always say that <laughs> like what <laughs> what sketchy origin story yeah. has Modo got I don't know like oh man Ma- like mama always says shut up <laughs> dark <laughs> Um, they beat him yeah Greaser Greaser Gary (laughs) and uh, (laughs) and then it goes into this they go to prison don't they Mm. yeah and then Limburg takes over the prison Mm -hmm. to use it to what mine I don't know I I don't know I think he just wanted to use that as a I think he was yeah they they're trying to get soil for some reason like for his planet or something or I don't yeah know. he's just digging up stuff yeah he's he? digging, he's up, digging stuff. up stuff i thought initially it was just to have a fortified base that the the mice couldn't get into yeah because he was like oh yeah they're, they're probably struggling stopping. to get into prison as well mm. aren't they yeah and then also 
the biker mice are actually really sexist. Yeah. They've got a woman helping them, which they were obviously like when they were making it, like, we need a girl somewhere. Cause she's like the only girl in it. They go to break into the prison. She mm-hmm. comes up with an idea. Why don't I go in as a prison guard, yeah. seeing as I'm not a mouse? <laughs> which makes sense. And yeah. then do something from there. I can't remember mm. what. And they're like, oh, you're a girl, man. No way you can do that. Is that safe enough for you? We're three mice. Let's go. <laughs> and then they just don't listen to anything she has to no. say. Completely like mugger off every everything she says, yeah. everything she suggests. They're like, no way. And then when she actually does it off her own back mm. because they can't get arrested, mm-hmm. they were right. Yeah. And she gets completely mugged over. Yeah, she gets good. And you just think like, oh, it's not just the mice that are sexist; it's the entire show. Yeah. It wasn't a woman's world back then. <laughs> it wasn't a woman's world. Back then. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah but you I mean you compare this to like yeah. Yeah. Uh, something like Gargoyles mm. and that had like she the, the yeah. female det- and, and then the and she was pretty fighter. good yeah and whereas this was She's really like, no like, girls are bad bites are red stupid <laughs> girls are so stupid like mama used to say <laughs> yeah girls can't get the job done like a man <laughs> <laughs> Uh, it's just uh, it's a very weird part what do they I mean they start like overtaking police cars in a hope to get yeah they like they're speeding that's basically yeah, they're how they speeding, get arrested, and then they? they like go through a demolished built like a pre like a, a building ready to be demolished yeah. so that they don't actually cause any yeah, harm yeah. so they save taxpayers money as they know at some point <laughs> and then yeah and then end up just like, that's it and then just as they're about to get caught the prison breakout that lim- like the prison nonsense that Limbo yeah. is doing just the- redirects the police anyway so. very convoluted yeah plot about nothing yeah it's, I don't really it's it's very odd it, it was no, all over the place yeah, like, it makes you wonder it's like, did they be a build up to this in any way but I, don't I don't think, think they so. did no. I don't think they did it just jumps from one thing to the next yeah and like Limburger just seems to have like ultimate power as well like he just buys out the prison like yeah. straight away like no question he's, he's loaded isn't he yeah he's just got just, yeah he's unfathomable wealth <laughs> that just solves every problem for him yeah and then he and then he gets sacked at the end doesn't he oh yeah. no he quits he's he like quits. I quit yeah <laughs> and Limburger he, Incorporated will no longer yeah, endorse it's, him, it's like yeah. this guy's ridiculous mm. But yeah, it's, they they do sideline a lot just so they can put more motorbike stuff in. Yeah, and the motorbikes as well. I noticed do, do not obey the laws of physics whatsoever. Oh, no. They were they're very synchronized on them. They are, yeah. And they just love doing wheelies. And then just deciding to like fly. Yeah, them. yeah. Like at the end, like <laughs> for as far like, as they need to. Modo, Modo is so annoyed that Limburger is getting away once again that he yeah. just decides to send his bike into the air <laughs> after his helicopter, which. Yeah. nobody else would be like well i'll make this decision because that's just not possible well they full on like what i don't get is so very end of the episode mm. their destruction like they, they've they escaped haven't they yeah limburger and uh greasy, greasy garbo yeah. <laughs> they're in in his like cr- office what? or whatever yeah fish yeah. towers or whatever yeah and then they just bomb it don't they yeah he's like oh, i just put a bomb in there they're literally a dirty bomb yeah and they even say oh it's a bit sketchy don't they mm. like yeah it's, so they become terrorists yeah blow up the building and then obviously he survives because it's mm. a cartoon but it's pretty much uh, for the last episode was that like is that how is that yeah. is that it then is is that, that, is that, that, that how all is that their ends? ending yeah they were just they like we just bombed guys. it and yeah game over we that's, killed him we, we solved a problem with, yeah. the, with this bomb. with a bomb that's how we solve all problems no kids. not a great not a really not great, great moral message, tale was there. <laughs> no, not really. But, you know, they're Martians. They have different yeah. ways about doing things. I mean, it's a 20-minute episode, roughly. Mm. Yeah. Maybe a bit less. Uh, not a lot happens in it. No. There's a lot of motorbiking. There is. Which, to be fair... Fair enough. You, you, that's what you expect. Mm. But there's not a lot... There's not a lot of story, is No, there? there's not a lot to talk about, even. Um, no. Because all they're doing is riding around on motorbikes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Does it, even the, in the pl- even in the prison when they yeah. when they get into the prison yeah there's a little scuffle with some guys isn't you know, there you're just like surely it's actually hindering you that you're always on a motorbike because mm. they never get off them do they no they don't you wonder how they get anything done 
And like, did you notice that there was a very like Michael Jackson esque soundtrack going on when they were in prison? There was like, <laughs> it was like the start of bad. It was like do 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 do. Oh, was it? <laughs> and you just saw like hands and stuff like. And then like and then just, solo like, guitarists like, came back. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I did like there was a bit where um, Limburg is getting everyone to like to do something, and then one yeah. of the criminals just goes. <laughs> If I wanted a life, it is. If I wanted to work for a living, I wouldn't have turned to a life of crime. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there's, some, there's a few little good quips. Yeah, some in lines there, are pretty funny. Yeah, um, and it does. It feels like um, you can tell it's a '90s show. It feels mm. it's got that sort of uh, tick feel to it. That yeah. nonsense city where it's a fictional place and everything's got a certain look about it. That's right. Um, yeah the, the style is bang on when it was made yeah yeah because like even the look of the mice they're so like that in that age where everyone just had to be like because they're so ripped aren't they yeah like ridiculously buff. tanked up like yeah. post schwarzenegger era yeah. of like but so ripped that his arm had to be even bigger yeah than a normal robot arm would need to be. <laughs> it's like <laughs> to the point it's just like unnecessary. Just, but yeah, they've all got because they, they have all got like pecs and six packs, yeah. haven't they, and stuff. They're just uh, unbelievable proportions. Yeah. Like and just bikers, terrifying, giant human-sized mice. Yeah. With from just, Mars. Yeah, just full of muscles. Yeah. If, if they did a live-action version of this, it'd be terrifying. Yeah. Because oh, you just no wouldn't want to see that. No, it'd be. Right. It would be uncanny valley horrendous <laughs> turned on its head um, Rob Paulson mm -hmm. uh, voices Modo no, no, no Throttle sorry. Throttle yeah. and every other person in the show yeah pretty much so there's like the main characters yeah and then he plays everyone yeah And but I didn't you know he's a good voice actor yeah. but in this all of them are the same it was yeah. like watching Family Guy it's yeah. just like why is he uh, like to the point where if I was looking at my writing mm. I would not realise who was talking mm. it was I had to look up and be like oh that's a news reader <laughs> yeah that's not it. throttle yeah. I wonder why he was talking Weird. about the news yeah um, yeah so I didn't think that was I didn't think the voice acting they didn't uh, utilise was, them yeah exactly mm. uh, the main characters were fine yeah it was just all the sort of extra stuff they didn't they, it's like they were just a bit lazy with it mm. yeah, it feels a bit lazy doesn't it, it does, to yeah. be honest um, yeah, maybe it was just because it's towards the end that they were like can't be bothered anymore. yeah this is it this is just how we're going out boys make sure you include mm. the toy stuff but I mean this is a big toy programme yeah. this is like one of the f the biggest examples of something that was only made to sell toys, toys. yeah uh, so the story doesn't matter and I mean it worked as we've, yeah, yeah it did work and it made it better yeah so. made it better um, but yeah I did notice as well that like the the logo for like like Limburger Productions or whatever it is, yeah, yeah. tower is like an L with a lowercase with like a P inside of it. Um, yeah. But, but like Lincoln Park's logo is basically that same logo on the first album, <laughs> like, really? but the P is backwards. And I wonder if it's because anyone was like, well, uh, well Limburger so, yeah. in Black <laughs> from Mars actually has that logo. Uh, so like, oh, no. uh, we'll just we'll switch the P around. But weirdly, like, he does look like when he's got his mask on and he's not a fish head. Mm. He looks a bit like, like a, a dark Donald Trump. He does, yeah. Doesn't he? Like his hair yeah. is like, like that weird shape, but yeah. it's black. That sort of quiff. Yeah. yeah, he's like got more of a tan than Donald Trump mm. ever would. But, but his yeah. face is like you know, like <laughs> yeah. puckered up on the mouth. Yeah, and <laughs> it's still sort of chubby, chubby around the bottom. Yeah, like yeah, proper Donald Trumpy. Yeah. I suppose back then even he was a. He was about yeah. yeah. So maybe yeah, maybe that's what it was. Yeah, Donald Trump's. This is you've this heard is... this conspiracy first. Well, there you go. Trump is a fish man. Bike miles from Mars. Yeah, yeah. Documentary. <laughs> you decide. <laughs> to jam. <laughs> to jam. And so we come to our ratings round, uh, in which we decide: is it a thumbs up? <gasps> Good stuff. Yeah. Is it a thumbs down? Oh. That's bad. Mm. Or is it a shaky middle? Mm -hmm. mm. And here's why. So, what do you think? Bike Mars from Mars. Up, down, middle. Well, 
uh, it's tough this one I think because it, it was tough. one I was looking forward to going back to because yeah. you know I had those fond fond memories of it um, uh, I think now I've now I've witnessed it witnessed how little story there is <laughs> yeah um, and how nonsensical most of it is it's gonna have to be shaky middle shaky me. middle shaky middle very very on the downward end of the is shaky it? middle yeah so what's preventing the down well i think the fact that it is just silly is keeping yeah. me afloat the fact that the main guy is a fish man that wears a human face yeah. <laughs> i do quite enjoy that yeah. yeah the fact that they're giant mice on bikes it's yeah. just like what yeah and you know that appeals to me because you know, I don't think everything needs to be straightforward or no. make any sense. There's a cartoon in it. Absolutely. Yeah, so I think that's I that's what's it. keeping it going is the fact that you know, if it was just if they were just a regular bunch of guys, then this show would just be a terrible if this was bore. Motorbikers. Yeah, the, yeah. If this start. was Sons of Anarchy, the <laughs> animated series, yeah, then you'd yeah, just be like, ah, yeah. oh, and it was like the same story, which could have happened because yeah, yeah, there's prisons in Sons of Anarchy. So there you go. But um, you know, yeah, it wouldn't. It just wouldn't fulfill those things. Yeah. So I think the fact that it's just a little bit left field is all that's really keeping me going on that yeah. one. Uh, what say you? Yeah, is it this? I too have struggled with the decision for this one because it's very. Uh, I don't know. It just feels. It feels lazy. Mm. It feels like lazy people are in charge of what's going on in these shows. But it doesn't feel like like the designs don't feel lazy no. and um you know even though you're doing something to sell toys they still have to look good so yeah. they've done that and you know there are stuff when you're watching it where it's like oh this is cool you would want it for your toy yeah but it's those i think the funny quips and stuff they did make me laugh mm. i didn't it wasn't at a point where i would have been like I can't watch another episode of this. Yeah, I could easily watch. I could watch another one. one more in a sitting, <laughs> watch two in a row. Yeah, which is okay, I think. You know, mm. uh, so probably a shaky middle as well. Yeah, uh, but yeah, it was. It's not as, no one near as good as I remember no. it being. Um, when I was a kid, but it's good design work, I think. Yeah, characters are cool, aren't they? Characters yeah. are cool. I think probably so maybe we need to see more I don't like mm. this one didn't have much Vinny in it really did it no. so I did think he was a bit rubbish in it mm. he's just like oh he's didn't just really do anything. sounds like a cowboy for half of the episode yeah and just, then just kind of half flirts with the girl yeah and then yeah. Jeff's her off <laughs> yeah when she wants to help <laughs> so yeah a weird one mm. a weird one two shaky middles yeah. what are your thoughts at home I'm sure many of you Hmm. like Biker Mice from Mars yeah um, so no so let us know uh, at Toon Jam Pod on the three mice <laughs> three, <laughs> three blind mice, mice. Oh, Facebook so sure. Instagram and Twitter mm -hmm. and now we're going to go to our segment section for the latter part of the episode which is my god, it's dead. We need a reboot. Reboot! Yes, reboot time. So, I can tell you, before we get into this, mm -hmm. that they did reboot. Huh? Biker Mars from Mars. In is this true? This is true, and it was later. I'm trying to find it now, and it cannot. Biker and Mice from Mars. 2006. What? Yeah, in two thousand six it was uh, re-aired. Well, it was redone. And it did look a bit different, more mm. noughties, but not too different. Right. Uh, it ran for a, a just a year, mm. so I don't think there was many episodes of it. But um, well, I don't believe I've heard of that. Yeah. And I assume that wasn't too successful. No. <laughs> I don't think it was. I'm just trying to find some 
referencing now, but uh, you know, I think you can. The internet is a, a yeah, it'll be on there somewhere. Um, I think they're on DVD. Really, on DVD. But yeah, so it has been re-released, but not to an incredibly different uh, or well-received. No, Before necessarily. That. Probably, probably still a shaky middle. Mm. I imagine on the release, yeah. but now. The reason I bring this up is because this is one of them properties that it's not like there's stuff still going on about it. No. You know, you get things like, uh, you know, X Men and the, all the superhero stuff yeah. where you, they're still here, they're still mm -hmm. around. Bike and Mice, in an age of reboots, could easily be picked up again. Yeah. Especially in the age of, you know, Netflix and Amazon. So exactly. And they don't make new things. Mm. So. What do you reckon? A. Does it. Is it in need of a reboot? Mm -hmm. Should there still be Biker Mice about? And B. How, how if. Even if you didn't want it to be remade, <laughs> how do you think it would get remade? Well. Um, I think. A does it need a reboot well after watching that episode yeah it's like th those characters could probably be transported into a universe where they had a bit more story. yeah um and i mean like like you say the designs and stuff are pretty cool so there's no reason that they couldn't update they couldn't them a little bit yeah well it's one of those things you know you bring back biker mice from mars i don't think you're going to damage what was already no. there so when people moan about and bringing stuff back, yeah, you really need to go back and watch it before you moan. <laughs> That's it, because go back and watch Biker Mice. It's not terrible, no, as we've just said, but no. you know, it's not like you're stamping on no hallowed ground no. in any way. So I mean, so why not? If because I, I, again, I think some of this that type of show where it's just silly for silly yeah. sake is tends to be missing a lot of the time now everything's kind of going yeah one way or the other and they you know usually it's it's not the sort of it's not towards the kind of craziness that, that we got in the, in no. the audience because i mean i can't like what's the what's the show now that's just ridiculous characters in ridiculous situations like you know most of them are kind yeah, of yeah and actiony sort of thing yeah well. yeah and action. now that now they are just it's just ridiculous it's just humor silly, yeah and that's sort of the, which is you know that's what's popular now so that's yeah. fine but there's no yeah there's no action thing there's no sort of yeah yeah that, that. so maybe that's it maybe yeah but, but so okay but but could it um, work um another cartoon yeah cg cg maybe yeah a movie live action uh no <laughs> no i think that would be terrifying yeah, yeah. i think that would be maybe not too far live action or you know maybe if they did maybe, it right maybe as a horror film yeah yeah, yeah. I, I don't like that idea yeah biker mice be, they'd be the villains no maybe it's like but what about, they, they discover fair, the biker this, mice the new turtles films mm. right i'm not saying they're good mm. but they're visually horrifying yeah the creatures are definitely and i'm pretty sure enough people went to see them so even if they made visually horrifying mice, yeah, I guess guys, it might not be. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's a good example yeah. because they are visually. You, yeah, you don't want to look at those, no. do you? Really, no. They're horrifying, monstrous creatures. Yeah, um, and they're pretty in shape as well. Yeah, <laughs> they look like they're they'd eat guys. you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So maybe not it would too work. dissimilar. Maybe no. it would. Yeah, maybe it, maybe it could work. Um, but I think you'd. I think if you made a live action film hmm. you'd lose the the silly sillier parts of it yeah because which, there's too many limitations for filming yeah. that kind of film it should just come that's back as a cartoon yeah really. that's all that would work a cg animated one yeah that could work i think you know if it doesn't matter really what the animation is i don't no. think anything yeah just do it i mean cg everything's cg now in it that's really it. so that just if that's what they're going to do yeah. make it a bit more different mm. I think it, I think it could work. I don't see. I don't think it's a failed uh, franchise Concept, or no. anything like that. No, no it'd, be, it'd be. These are characters that mm. you know were interesting to look at as a kid. Mm. That's why the the toys yeah. are popular. Yeah. So why not? Why not? Why not bring it back? And like I said, the Sons of Anarchy, a massive, a massive show based around motorbikes. That's having a spin-off soon. 
So, I mean, like, people obviously still love motorbikes. Yeah, there that you is go. The thing. So. so, there yeah. you have it. We're, we're a yay, yeah, yeah, on the reboot. <laughs> We've greenlit the reboot. We've greenlit the reboot. So, <laughs> you hit it here for us, folks. <laughs> uh, so, yeah, once again, thank you for listening. Mm -hmm. If you enjoyed listening, please uh, help us by rating and reviewing us on whatever you listen to to the podcast on and if you enjoy the show then please why not consider patreon becoming a patreon patreon helps us out you know it just gives us a little bit of pocket money a little bit of cheese helps the show yeah. running you know gives us some cool stuff to do and it gives you extra episodes about feature length cartoons so there you have it another week goes by another tune jammed in your ear <laughs> <laughs> so until next time ladies and gentlemen stay jammy <laughs> hey everyone thank you for listening to tune jam and if you want to continue to help us out you can help us by jumping over to our patreon page which is patreon.com slash toon jam pod and if you can rate and review us everywhere you listen to your podcasts so on itunes or on the android apps that'll be a massive help too thank you and stay jamming